On 9 December 2015, my father asked me to meet him for dinner. It was one of those rare occasions when we had time alone together. When he emerged from the car, he looked visibly shaken and upset. He explained to me that he had not attended the cabinet meeting on that day because things were becoming difficult in cabinet. He was concerned that Minister Nene was being put under significant pressure by the then president. He showed me a letter that he had received from Judge Kroon, which made all sorts of wild allegations against him. He explained the concept of state capture to me. Sir's colleagues remember Pravin Godan in a memorial service organized by the institution. Godan was credited for having built a strong and formidable revenue collector. During his tenure, Godan oversaw the modernization of SARS, which was later dismantled by his successor and later rebuilt. Of course, if you can succeed in destroying institutions, there is the one thing that you can do. You populate the institution with pliable individuals, with no character, with no ethics, with no sense of purpose. For if you are a public servant, the first thing that drives you and people say is saving our people, how do you serve the people you don't love? The point of departure should be the love of our people. And if you love our people, you will go out and serve them. Finance Minister Trevor Manuel has said he will remember Gordon for his inner core strength. Manuel described Gordon as an activist commissioner who was committed to protecting the country's democracy. If the assignment was different than not SARS, if the assignment was for PG to be the commissioner of police, he would have attacked the task with no less vigor, no less determination, because the objective was never just the job. The objective was how we can deliver a better democracy that impacts on the everyday lives of South Africans. And that was the inner core of activism that defined the Pravin I knew. Former Minister Ntlantlanene said Godan's leadership stood firm and unshaken in the midst of adversity. Nene, who succeeded Godan, worked closely with him as the Deputy Finance Minister for a period of five years. He was an activist. He was, he was virtually everything such that when you listen to his attributes, you ask yourself, as we bid him farewell, whether we haven't buried too many people in one, in, in one grave. Too many people have been buried in one grave in Pravin. Gordon was laid to rest in Deben last week.